I am extremely happy that the National Biodiversity Board and the Calcutta Center of the M.S. Swaminathan Research Foundation are organizing a workshop for media personnel on biodiversity. Biodiversity is the feedstock of almost all other forms of diversity. For example, cultural diversity, culinary diversity, and bio, agro biodiversity, a whole series of diverse, diverse uh, variety of genetic material is provided by biodiversity. For a long time, biodiversity was considered to be the heritage of man, humankind, mankind heritage. But at the Biodiversity Convention adopted at Rio de Janeiro in 1992, biodiversity was declared as a national heritage. So that our act, the Biodiversity Act, is in response to our national responsibility. Once it becomes a national heritage, not a universal heritage, it is important for us to develop methods. The National Biodiversity Board has developed methods of conserving, sustainably using, and equitably sharing benefits. In fact, they have developed methods by which non-official non agency involved in conservation. They are also given some compensation or recognition. Biodiversity conservation awards are being given. I would say this particular dialogue between media personnel and biodiversity scientists is a very, very timely one because we are finding that increasingly mega biodiversity areas are becoming Negatively, they are becoming centers of loss of gene. Genetic erosion is very common. This is largely because of, mainly because of habitat change. In other words, the land use pattern has changed. A very good example is Vayanar, where the land use has changed enormously. Mostly plantation crops have taken up the normal crops of the area. But still we have cultural diversity in the form of a number of tribal groups, the Kulchiyas, Kartanayakas, Paniyars and many other. Cultural diversity always means also increase in biodiversity because the selection value allotted to different biodiversity areas vary from community to community. Now, as a result of this workshop, we hope we will have a strategy for the conservation of biodiversity in the Vainard area. Not only Vainard area, but southern India, everywhere, because the National Biodiversity Board is concerned with biodiversity conservation. But it is also important that not only we conserve biodiversity, but utilize it very carefully. For example, many of the important uh, plantation crops of Vainard have all come from biodiversity introduced from elsewhere. The natural rubber, for example, came from Brazil and through Kew Garden, Sir Henry Wickham brought it to Kew Garden and from there it came. So biodiversity has had enormous economic value. This is why the Calcutta Center of the Swaminathan Foundation is adopting a 4C approach, conservation of biodiversity and uh, uh, sustainable use of the biodiversity and at the same time uh, uh, consumption and commerce parts of the parts of the biodiversity area. I, I wish the seminar very well and I want to say that uh, we should focus hereafter not only in the conservation of biodiversity but also its economic use. A very good example is the biodiversity conservation of millets in the, in the Kolli Hills area of Tamil Nadu. The millets were going out of cultivation because nobody was consuming them. We made arrangements for consumption, increasing consumption of millets, what we call conservation through commercialization, through income to the farmer. So our people are poor, we can't expect them only to conserve for others. It is very important that they also get some reward and recognition. That's what's provided for in the Act, Biodiversity Act. Uh, and, uh, let me, let me wish the media people a very happy time 
I am very happy that not only classroom discussions will take place, but there is going to be field visits. Ultimately, it is the field which is a mirror of what is happening. If the field is devoid of biodiversity, that means there is a lot of genetic erosion. If on the other hand, we find fields are rich in biodiversity, not only in the upper part of the soil, but also in the lower part of the soil. The microbial diversity is a very good example of diversity in there. So let me wish the organizers, both the media personnel and the uh, National Biodiversity Board and the Amazon Research Foundation, a very satisfying period in the seminar. And I will be happy if even a small pro step is taken to bring to, to, uh, to the public, the, the media will take some steps to bring to the public the inestimable value of biodiversity. It cannot be measured in rupees or in terms of dollars. It has its inestimable value. A single gene can make a lot of difference. For example, today there are problems in coffee and so on. But single genes can help to provide resistance. So every gene is precious, every species is precious. Uh, we should ensure that all genetic material is conserved in the best possible way, both in situ, ex situ, and community biodiversity conservation. Uh, in our country, I would really like to end by saying for a long time, the biodiversity was given spiritual value. We find all these areas where a number of uh, number of gardens are set up with uh, with statues of the gods and gods. Uh, the biodiversity gardens in our country are all spiritually chosen. They are they are all have value, not merely in terms of practical economic value, but also in, uh, in terms of the larger understanding of life, its variability, and why it has come. To th so let us see a, a reversal of gene drain or gene, uh, gene genetic erosion, and at the same time let us see more benefits to our people from the existing biodiversity. Because I want to conclude by saying that 1992 saw an important change in biodiversity management, namely. Biodiversity was no longer considered as a global heritage, but as a national heritage. And therefore, it is important that we as a nation, we as an institution, we as media people who take the news to the people, we all feel responsible for the conservation and sustainable use of biodiversity.